Patrick knew nothing about horse racing, but in a short amount of time, he became the most successful horse jockey in the country. For legendsoffaith.org, I'm Rob Cutter. Patrick was raised in a small farming community in Colorado. After school, he would help his dad train horses for the neighbors. He enjoyed the challenges of working with horses that he decided he wanted to be a professional bull rider. After graduating from high school and working a few jobs, he got his chance to work in a rodeo. After traveling throughout the country, Patrick was not having much success. Then a few of his friends suggested maybe he should try his hand as a horse jockey. After hanging around a few racing tracks, he had the opportunity to ride a horse in a major race, and he went on to win. He was a natural at it. In no time, his popularity continued to grow. He was racking up wins quickly and racing at the most prestigious racing tracks. Then after a few short years, he was the top jockey in the world. With all his fame and fortune, Patrick forgot where it came from. Just as fast as Patrick's horse racing career took off, it was just as fast when his personal life began spinning out of control. His mood began to change. His temper and anger increased after losing a race. This was all contrary to the way he was raised. Growing up, he had a strong biblical foundation. Patrick started drinking heavily. And then came the pills. One night after hours of drinking, he returned to his hotel room and started flipping through the channels. The only thing he could find was some TV evangelist preaching. He watched for a while, and then he dozed off. Suddenly, he woke up after a few minutes, and he felt a strong presence in his room. He then began to realize that it was God calling him to get back on track. From that night on, he was able to break the chains of bondage to drugs and alcohol. His winning streak continued, and he would always deflect the attention from himself and praise Jesus. At four feet, 11 inches, and 100 pounds, Patrick Day had just over 8,800 wins and won almost $300 million in prize money. Patrick officially retired from horse racing in 2005. Because of the respect he garnished all through the racing community, Patrick was instrumental in building the Christ Chapel Church, a place of worship tucked away near Gate 5 at the Kentucky Derby Racetrack. That's where you'll find Patrick on most Sundays. To be able to hear more stories like this, and for ways to donate, visit us at legendsoffaith.org.